Hi, my name is Steve from Dealerseb and welcome to this tutorial uh, called Simply the Coin. Uh, this tutorial belongs to the basic section and it was also requested uh, at our forums. And the request was about using a bump or displacement map. So uh, we'll make a simple coin in Max and after do a lot of work in Photoshop creating a bump map or displacement map. It's up to you what you will use at the end. And after apply the map, which we will create in Photoshop to our scene, and also we will use some uh, physics in Max and do a nice render after. So uh, we'll uh, begin uh, with a coin. I took a picture of a Euro coin, which I had in my wallet. It's a coin from Germany. So we'll be doing a map for this coin in Photoshop, but before we'll create a simple coin here in Max. So uh, I like a lot to make stuff from a reference picture because, you know, uh, you never know what you will create, but if you have a, a nice reference picture, you will create an accurate uh, model after, so it should be nice. Uh, so, uh, go to front view and create a simple plane. Let's keep uh, to it one and one segment. And now, if you click somewhere in your scene and press a 3, you will see the shade model. When you uh, press a 4, you will see also the edges on the model. So we want this. We, will, uh, we want also to see the shade model and also the edges. We'll, cha oops. we'll change also the view to shade. We don't need a realistic now. And let's press M. Choose some empty slot. Click diffuse. Bitmap. One more. And check our reference picture. Press open, but before uh, check these settings here. Now this is the resolution of the picture, and if you want to model something right, you have to keep in mind this kind of resolution. So you need the same ratio of your plane here. It don't have to be the same resolution, but the ratio have to be the same to make the same uh, model like it's on the uh, reference picture. Uh, this you should keep in mind if you do anything uh, from a reference. So let's press open, drag it to a plane, and click this to see everything in our view. Now check our plane and I will give here 85 to 85 which should be uh, good and enough for uh, modeling the coin. Now I want to place it into the middle uh, of my scene so I right click here and right click here, here and here. Now it's absolutely at the zero and we can start the model. So we'll start from the cylinder it's obviously that this should be a cylinder so I will try to make a cylinder uh, big like this. We'll change that a little bit later. First of all, I will change the color to gray. I like the gray color. And also the name to a coin. Coin. Now, well, let's press P to perspective. Uh, we don't need the segment, so we'll keep them on one. But here we need more segments. So let's give here 36. I will also explain why a little bit later. And now uh, about how it should be big and how it should be fat now. First of all, move it again to 0, 0, 0. Let's go to front, press Z to zoom and also Alt X to see through. Now I want to have the cylinder first uh, here, like to this border. So I will keep the radius a little bit lower. And also, I will move it a little bit here. Now, about how it should be thick. Now, I think a little bit less. Maybe three. Maybe three and a half. No, I think three should be enough. Oops, three. So, this is our uh, initial shape. You can press Alt X again back. And now, right click and convert to edit and poly. Now select your select tool, hold down control and make a selection like this. Now like this you will select also the top and the bottom poly, which we want. No, we are in the back. Now press inset, I will, we will inset multiple times our cylinder. And finally here we will hit control vertex and collapse. Now <coughs> 
select this edge here, ring it, control, poly. Now we will select all the polys which are in the selection of the edges. Now let's go here to extrude. Now it's extruding uh, very strange, so we need to change the settings to local normal. You can turn this off. You can go now to front view, hit here extrude, and we will extrude the shape until here. Okay, and when we are here, we will extrude it one more time to make the coin complete. Now, select this and this uh, edge, both the top and the bottom. Again, just dragging the selection. Oops, so again, so just select. Now, ring it again, control poly, and we need to extrude also this one a little bit. I think like this it should be enough to make a nice coin. And anyway, you can make this uh, bigger or smaller, it's up to you how you'll be looking at the end. And now, let's do here a little bit more detail. So, first of all, I will delete this and this edge here. Oops, not, not ring, but loop. So again, select them, loop them, backspace. Now, let's hit uh, vertex and you will see still the vertex here. So let's go to left view, left view, Z to zoom if you want. And I'll select all these vertex here. Don't hit backspace now. Let's go to front view, select the selection to ring. Hold on Alt. Let's go to the middle and deselect everything. And we'll just keep the vertex here all around. So now backspace. Now we'll do a chamfer <coughs> with the edges here. So I will make a loop. Now I will select my chamfer tool, make a nice chamfer here. I will select this and this also from the other side and here I would like to make a smaller chamfer so like this now the next next thing which we will do is the border which you could see on the picture this one here so I will select here my edge both this and the bottom now keep back the selection loop it and we will again use extrude, but now in edge mode. So hit here extrude, right click here and here. And we'll go a little bit apart from the selection and inside. Now you can go inside how much you want. I think this should be enough. Hit here OK. Now again select these edges here, loop them. And we need to do a chamfer. Very, very small chamfer. Like this. It should be fine. Maybe smaller one. I will use for this the keyboard better. So or the mouse. So okay. This will be our border here now. We can apply to brush mode on this because we want it round and smooth. Two. Turn this off. And nice. <coughs> As you can see, we have a nice shape and. Also, everything is uh, how you want to have that. And now we'll do the details here uh, on the sides. Now, there's some kind of pattern there. It's not smooth everywhere. It's not, sometimes it actually depends on the coin. I saw, I saw some coins without that. I saw some coins with it. Uh, but we will do like half and half. So half of the shape will be smooth, half not. Uh, so, check this edge, ring it, control poly, let's go to front, and now we'll keep 6 uh, selected and 6 deselect. So, I will start to deselect, now 6, I will keep 6 selected and deselect the rest, 2, 4, 6, and because this I was choosing, oops, 36 uh, sides of the cylinder. Now let's go to perspective <coughs> and 
it's 6? Yeah, it's 6. Now, with this shape, we'll inset this a little bit. Now, we'll inset just a little bit. And we will now use extrude. But now we will not go outside, but inside the shape. We'll go a little bit inside. To make a detail like this, it's, uh, still depends uh, up to you how it should be looking. Now uh, I will delete actually the plane because we don't need that. And I deselected the model and on the model is applied to the smooth. And you can see some stuff from hard surface modeling. So immediately it started to smooth the shape according to the edges which are around. Now, if I will put here one edge, it will be not so round like here, but absolutely different. Uh, we can try and you will understand. So I will connect uh, these two edges. I will move the connection down. Oops. And if I turn to this mode now, we can see it started to be a little bit different, like on the picture. Okay, I did the connection too small. I should go one one more step. So oops. So again, just to show. Connect. Now it should work. No. Okay, it's a little bit strange. No, a little bit more. No, it doesn't matter actually. A little bit embarrassed here. No. I <clears throat> but uh, what I want to do is uh, to make something inside uh, the inset and extrude, which we done. So I'll we'll select. We can, we can do also a chamfers here. Uh, at the top, so I will select all the tops here. So I'll select this one and the last one here. Oops, not that one. This one, loop it, and I will apply a small chamfer here. Oh, maybe a little bit bigger. I will select the bottoms. Oh, this is the first one. Now let's search for the next one. It's here. And this one here, a little bit. Now I know where I did the mistake. I shouldn't make the connection this way, but also this way, but it doesn't matter. So we loop that, we will make uh, a deselection here and here. And if I look better, it's looping just from one side, so uh, I need to select also the other side. So again, yeah. So okay, this one and the last one. So simple to select and deselect stuff from X, as you can see. This should be the last one. Just check here yeah. and now connect. Cool. So make this uh, zero and now depends up uh, upon you how many. Selection uh, connection we will do. Let's make them more five, six. Let's go by six. Now, control poly, it will select all our polys in the selection. Call to bevel. Oops, not bridge, not bridge. Bevel. Change the settings to poly. Move it down and we will inset it a little bit. And go outside. Now, uh, how f uh, how far it should go? It's up to you. We can go a little bit more. We can go a little bit less. So I think this should be fine. Let's go with this setting: zero three and one point five. So when we apply this uh, this one here, it's very ugly, but it's fine for us because we'll now. Uh, <coughs> fix this. Now let's go to left view and select all these edges in this line. Click here connect. Now we will not use six of course but just two. But we will move them apart from each other. Now I will zoom on that. Uh, maybe a little bit more. So we can connect and just a little bit like this. 
Now, if used to burst mode, it's absolutely different, and it's the shape uh, we want to achieve. So we have the sides here of our model. Uh, we have the border. We have actually everything. So and all. Uh, maybe we should uh, make uh, a connection also here on the top. You can see the difference. I will uh, show. We will ring this and click here connect. We will make again two connection like this. And now this top is uh, almost flat. It's hard to see actually. But on the other side, it's a little bit round. Now this is more flat. This is more round. This is more flat. Now, it's, I think it's looking better when it's more flat. So I will make also a connection also here. The same settings like before. You can experiment with the settings. So, uh, so 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 the coin is ready. Now the coin is ready to apply the for applying the textures and so nice and smooth everything fine cool so the coin is ready uh, let's go to Photoshop now I will just click here and I'm here in Photoshop now I have the to your coin now here is the top and here is the bottom and here I have the map of European Union and so on so we'll start uh, to draw again the coin because uh, to make a bump map from this or displacement map would be oh, horrible, I think, because um, we want that it to be like clear, clear extrude from the shape, and I don't think it's much possible to do it by just moving the levels or curves in my uh, in Photoshop, make it darker. It's, Really not possible, so we'll recreate the shape. Now it's really nothing hard, so we can start with the top. Now we'll create here a new group. I will call the group top. It's good when you uh, name the layers so you know after what, what was what and so. And first we will put there the map. Now we have the map and it's just the blue part, so Let's go very quick and very simple to color arrange. We'll select this blue and we'll put it the fuzziness down uh, 78. Just hit uh, Ctrl C like for copy, Ctrl V to paste. We can turn this off, we don't need that. And now let's go away. Let's call this the map. Just the map. Let's press the move tool, hold on shift and scale it down. Move it here. We'll zoom on that. Now we want to fit it to the shape of the coin. It's not fitting very well. So we can rotate it a little bit. Now hold on control and move it like this. Actually, we don't want to make an absolute copy of the coin, we want to play with that and just explain the use uh, of the maps in Max. So we'll just play and try to make almost the same like on the picture. Now, it's okay for me, you can uh, play with it a little bit more. I don't think any anyone will see the difference here, but if you want, you can hit enter if you. Uh, we'll finish with free, uh, transform. Now I will hit here what's called eraser here and erase this part. This we can keep, this we can erase. And can try a little bit more to play with that. But like I told, it's up to you. Okay, here is the map. Now I will keep it blue, but we have the map. Now let's do these lines the stars and text and we will up to go to the number. So uh, you don't have to create a new layer. You go here to the shapes, custom shape, go here and select the star. I always selected it but we'll find it again. Okay, here's the star. Now keep this in mind, this should be checked. 
and hold down control and oh I mean shift and make the star now I'm telling uh, hold on shift when you hold on shift you will keep the ratio one by one in making this kind of stuff it's the same when you make a selection you see I, I will try to make a square and when I keep pressing shift it makes the square perfect now it's not okay oops my bad now we have here the star uh, I will change this to white we'll tell the black things will not go from the bump map but white things yes so I'll make a white star right click on this and make from it a picture okay now let's do simple a copy oops escape for this I will turn this off the transformation and maybe it should be a little bit smaller just delete this hold on shift again and we'll make it a little bit smaller you can also use uh, control C control V it should also be work working like a charm yeah it is and we will place here all our small stars so I'm just hitting control V and copying the one star here, here and there it's the first next one <coughs> and maybe you are already asking myself or yourself uh, what I'm doing because the star is not like directly going from the coin but there is some gradient uh, like it's going from lower uh, to higher this place so right click on one of the stars blending options here check your gradient overlay we'll check this to diamond and click here reverse also we'll scale this a little bit more can change uh, the color here. This don't have to be absolutely white. It can be like a light gray. And okay, let's play with radial better actually. And let's keep it like this. Now I did a mistake because here have to be white. But this could be a little bit more lighter. Okay, I will keep it like this. Now the star should look a little bit different, like it should just go straight from the uh, from the surface. Now you can you can you can just jump here. This could look interesting, of course, but I think oops, uh, I think the radial will be working like it should. Okay, maybe, maybe like this. Now, uh, copy the li layer style, select all uh, stars, paste. Now everything like it should be. Oops, I forgot something. Again, blending options. We'll apply also a drop shadow. Now the shadow will be here, and it will go not from white. It will go from white, not from black very small but it will be there so again copy our style it will be uh, you can see uh, we will see it later when it will be on a black background and paste and also control to this and control E so it will merge all our shapes together so we have our stars <coughs> A little bit. Oh, control. Okay. Uh, before I will merge that, I will try to disable the drop shadow. Mm, great. Uh, I I want to do one layer without the drop shadow, just with the overlay there. Okay, now it's without that. 
again I will hold down shift I will make a copy of this I will hit Control A and I will turn that off I will turn this on again right click copy and paste it here paste layer style Control E Control E now I will change the name I will call it star and I will call this star simple something similar I will do also here it will be map I will make a copy and this will be map simple now I'm doing this uh, because it's easier to use a simple or simple map for uh, the displacement then with a lot of shadows and stuff like that because for that you will need a lot a lot and a lot of polys now we don't want a lot of polys we want simple map so here uh, I will change this to color relay to white also make the shadows on again the same setting like before it's uh, almost not to see but okay if you if I hit it here you can see the shadows you can change the angle to this one and back to this one now to see the shadows I will just make here a layer check my brush and make here dark background and I don't see the shadows still it's a little bit strange I see them actually. It's hard to see on the black background, but you can use a normal map here if you want, of course. Uh, we'll see later. We can hit here multiply so far, and anyway, we'll use it also a different kind. So we have here the map. Now the map is too bright again, like. The stuff before, so we'll make here. We'll change the color here back to black and white. Go to filter, render, and clouds. Now I forgot something. Let's go one back. I'll make a new layer, and on this I will generate the clouds. So my bad. Uh, filter clouds. Now I will go back here. Turn this on, I will scale it down to fit my map like this. I will also hold on control, hit my map. Now select inverse, just press uh, delete. It will keep just the map uh, on the picture. And also, I will go to image, adjustment levels, and make it a little bit whiter in some places not so dark let's say and now it's something like the star it's not the same but it's a little bit uh, darker whiter brighter and stuff like that so it should be looking much better so actually we don't need this map we can apply the settings here oh anyway where I created that and we can go with a shadow map so a little bit grey Press OK. Okay, we have the stars, we have the we have the map, now the lines here. The stars, we have the map. This we can delete again. Now the stars, uh, something similar like the shapes of the star. Uh, I mean the line. Just check the line tool, put the value which you think should be enough. Now this I think is too small, so I will go 5 or let's say 6 pixels. Yeah, this is better. And I will make just a line like this. I'm not looking on how it should be big or stuff like that. I will just make this line. Now, this line I want to go straight up. No gradient or stuff like that. So I will make a copy like this. So Control C, Control V. So Control C, Control V, or U, or I don't know. 
so let's make all these lines like this and now the bottom one so I'm starting to thinking to use just the bump map no displacement but you never know maybe I will maybe I will not so let's try to make it like this and after we'll decide so I will select all these layers it should be this one here Control E to merge them now let's go to delete we'll select a square brush we'll find here between the brushes a square brush hit OK find one which is big enough now I will delete what we don't need so this deleting is fu uh, fun just hitting and deleting now you can bring there a little bit chaos if you want like you don't have to be absolutely like on the picture of course uh, it's your call to be looking like you want oops maybe I deleted now too much so anyway uh, delete what you want this I need I'll keep it like this anyway keep everything here and just put the map above this but I like to make things a little bit really more according to the reference which I usually use uh, but I will also put the map above and as you can see uh, I have all the lines already did so it's very easy and very quick uh, now we have three, three fragments we need two more now this you are here and uh, two here so you can turn this off now let's go to text select the text tool and write euro again we need a uh, white text <coughs> I think we will use Times New Roman. Now we can keep it like this and we'll scale it again by holding shift. Scale it a little bit more. Now I will hit Ctrl and move them. Ah, it's matching actually. Cool. Very fast. Happy. Now, like this and here uh, I actually will again rasterize the type I will hit blending options straight go to auto, auto glow check your black one I will check this to normal and I think I will make it a little bigger size The size we need to border between the text and this stuff here. Okay, I'm in the map because when we turn now this thing here, yeah, it will go from the shape how it should. Okay, we have uh, almost everything, so as you can see, it's nothing hard to do. Well, anyway, apply some filters a little bit later, and we need now the number. Now, for the number, we will use a pen tool. Will not uh, actually. We can try hit here two, and great. It looks like the two there. And we don't need to use the pen tool. It's great. We'll save us a lot of time, and this will be anyway better. But I will anyway explain the pen tool a little bit. So now I will hold on shift. And try to place. A little bit scaled text and fit it to the shape, which would be a little bit hard. But I'm sure uh, I will make it somehow. We're trying to fit first this shape and then the rest of the shape. 
maybe like this maybe a little bit more and okay now the top a little bit ah, horrible we could use the pen tool I don't know maybe I, I could use just the rotate tool okay I'm just trying to fit uh, my two to the two on the coin okay I will hit escape to make it again small I, oops uh, I need to start again my bad so I'll make it a lot bigger a little bit more now this should be a little bit the shape still bigger this is a little bit problem maybe uh, okay it's bold that should be bold hmm. let's try to hit here 100 to make it a little bit bigger again okay one more time we're not uh, oops we will use the pen tool so first of all I will make it bigger okay let's make it big like this Oops. control and let's try to control no I don't think I will fit it there oh, it's horrible horrible with me sometimes anyway uh, you can try to make it yourself better than me I will so I will not use the type tool here I will use the pen tool I should listen to myself and do it like I sh uh, wanted the first time okay so uh, we'll assign now points points to the shape now it's like bezier corner in max oops but okay why not uh, so we'll make this shape all around just we will assign the points so far to the around uh, things on the two and in a minute we'll transform them and make a nice shape of the two so let's hit this one and just drag them you can go down with the opacity here and to see a little bit more in the shape and just when you hit control by the way you, you can move the points so if you need to move the point hit control oh, this I don't like change that a little bit okay let's zoom a little bit on that it's still a little bit strange well, this looks better I think Try to make it the most you can. Feel the pen after the model on that. At most the two on the model. So I, I even try to do it the best I can. Of course, if you have a tablet, which is a great thing, it's much faster for you and easier than for the rest of us which don't have the tablet right now I have it at my fork and I could say <coughs> I can remember the time when I was, wasn't was using the tablet in Photoshop it's a really it's a great thing okay now again rasterize the type and let's fix things which are too sharp like these things here so I will choose just here the brush I will reset the brushes back reset the brushes okay 
I will choose not absolutely hard, but also not a soft brush. I will just delete these corners. This also here a little bit and also here. Okay, uh, we will apply again blending options, drip shadow. Well, this one can try to make it. A little bit different. It's up to you how it should be. I will keep it like this. And okay, everything is done here. Now I forgot actually to make a simple one, it doesn't matter. Uh I will create here two more layers. Now I will drag here the rulers. First of all. I will drag the rulers from here. So I'll make a square from the edges, one edge to edge, fourth edge, and also here in the inner circle. So again, from all sides, Ooh, it should be somewhere here, and this here. Now change this to ellipsal, go here to the corner, hold on shift and make a nice circle. This will be the shape inside. Let's make it black. Now again, hold on, shift and make again a simple selection all around our shape. This will be actually again black. You can anyway change the color, so it doesn't matter much. And now the rest of the shape will be, as you know, Again, like we just need some kind of borders. Okay, we have here a map. Now, what I want to do is to blur that a little bit. So, go to Gaussian Blur, maybe a little bit more, and we will blur the corners here everywhere. Let's go by two. So, we blur this one. You don't have to use Gaussian Blur, we can also use. Let's go here, surface blur, but it will not blur the edges so good. So, this is too much for the stars, I think. Let's go less, like 0 08. Also, we will use the same settings for the rest of the shape. Filter, oh, yeah, I can. Anyway, we get Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur. And again the Gaussian Blur. Okay, every, everywhere is the Gaussian Blur applied, I think. Uh, now, we can look on Drop Shadow mode now. Oh, actually, I don't understand why it's not working so much. There is Multiply, I know. But anyway. So, we can go for other Glow. Oh, I think I will pass these settings here. So anyway, don't make any anything. I will keep it like this. Now, a very simple mode how to do it is just copy the stuff, move it a little bit. And okay, let's see. I'll make a copy. Move it just a little bit and just drag this away and we have some kind of shadow here, but doesn't matter much. But anyway, we have the map. We have the map on the top. Now we should go to the back. That's a very simple map. Ah, I almost forgot. My bad. I will select this shape here. Now, I downloaded it from the net as scratch brushes. Because we don't want this to be too, like, too new. We want it that I was carrying in my wallet and stuff like that. So. I will go here and find scratch, scratch. We should be some. Yeah, heavy scratch brushes. Let's hit OK. And we have here now, it's too big. Scratches. Now, we'll uh, find one which will suit for us. Now, let's try it. Oh, 
Hmm. Maybe it's too much, but we'll see. And we'll apply it to the wall shape here. So I will make it bigger, of course. A little bit more. Okay, why not? And we can also take this one here, make it smaller, and go here on R2, which should be here. Change this to black, and okay, I'll make it bigger. Here, I will make a scratch like this. Ah, my bad. I will create a new layer for this because when I will do the scratch, I will change the opacity down to make it really small to see just a little bit. So we have now a scratched uh, brush and a scratched coin, which the map will use after our coin. Now, okay, let's go to the back. Oops, this one. Now, the back is a little bit <coughs> harder, I will say. Because here is the uh, eagle, and whew, it will take us some time to cut it out. And because this, I will just make the stars here, the text, and after I will make the eagle again with the pen tool. But I will not uh, boring you with that uh, by recording this. So I will turn this off, and you can make it yourself. And after apply, so the same technique like before, we will create. Uh, new group, we'll call it back. We'll go here, make custom shape. We have uh, already here the star. So we'll make the star, which should be, I think, a little bit bigger. We can play with the settings and make whatever I want. You don't have to use this star, but this is in. Photoshop, so I'm using this one here. You can create your own very fast, but I think this this should be fine for us. So I will just rasterize the type. Now, Control A and Control C and Control V, and make quickly the copies here. See no problem. And it's also very fast now. Okay. So here we go. One more. And actually, we'll use the same settings like before. So, uh, can go here, find my star. Ah, I already make uh, my bed. Uh, so I will just hit one here, blending options, uh, gradient overlay, we don't want to be numbered radial, reverse, oops, gain, doesn't matter. Now, this we don't want to be absolutely black, make it like this, we'll make it brighter a little bit in the middle, hit OK, oops, maybe, maybe also the, the shadow, we'll try again. Now uh, it's actually absolutely not working with the white. It's called the multiplier, but uh, I don't want to change that, so I will keep it like this and turn that off. Simpler. Okay, we can apply also the Gaussian blue already. And <coughs> no, my bad. Just the settings of the blending options. Okay, paste. Select all layers, Control E. Now the blur very fast. Now the text, uh, nothing to do there, just 2002. We'll keep the text and everything how it is. You can put here back 90. It's a little bit bigger, so let's go to 24 points. This should be fine. Uh, we'll rasterize this again. This type blending options will go to the white. 
color white we'll apply already the Gaussian blue and should be some bending oh, I know the bending is also by the text but I'm just making it too quick and I forgot uh, what displays no okay I can remember we make it from the free transform tool. Uh, I will use warp, I think. But yeah, warp. I'll zoom on that. This will give me a little bit more control about everything. So I'll make. Yeah, I'm stupid. Again, the warp, and actually, here is the uh, pending already. Oops, too much. And we have to go to minus minus 10. Should be enough. Okay, so we have the text, we have the stars. When we apply this, we have a nice, uh, we have a nice map. The last thing which we need is the eagle in the middle. So the eagle in the middle I will do in a minute alone without you. I will just use the pen tool maybe something else and it will be very fast so, uh, I will see you in the next part in Max when we try to apply the map and make some textures and also use the physics so I did some mistakes here in the Photoshop but you know it's like everywhere uh, and every time you just do some mistakes from time to time okay so sorry for that and see you in a minute so so far bye bye